everybody. This is Pastor Jeff live in front of the Paramount Theater. Um, it is about almost 1 o'clock. I've been here since 11 o'clock last night. Um, like everybody else, trying to get tickets to come pay uh, honor to one of the greatest. Um, so we've been here trying to maintain uh, you know, uh, order so that we can represent uh, the reason why we're here, and that's to celebrate the life of our uh, icon here in the Bay Area, Bishop Walter Hawkins. So we're here live at the Paramount. You can hear all of the noise behind. Um, people are just really anxious and, uh, to get a ticket. And so it seemed to be doing pretty well now. Um, so we're grateful and we pray. We're praying for the family. We're praying for the church and we're praying that the services will be anointed. We're praying for all of the out of town guests and artists that's coming to pay tribute to this man. So we just say, you know, to God be the glory for the things that he, uh, Bishop Hawkins has written. But I will say that change is what made me decide I wanted to be a gospel artist. I was taking classical when I was young, and when I heard that song change, it was so different from any of any of the uh, other gospel music that I, that I have heard. So it made me make up my mind that's what I wanted to do. So I'm grateful uh, that he wrote that song because not only did it allow a spiritual change, but allowed a musical change in my life. Joy guys at the Pride. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to see you, though. No. Huh? I didn't see you. I was standing right in front of Hollywood. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I've been so much okay. going on. How do you feel? I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. I'm so rejoiceful. Right now, I don't know what to like this morning. But it was all right. It wasn't in bed. I got my ticket. I'm in the house. I'm 52 years old. I was 12 years old when No Happy Day came out. And ever since then, I've been following the Hawkins family. And I love them. And I'm rejoicing. I'm not sad because I know he's in heaven. And I know he's up there reserving a seat for all of us to get up there. that clear the lady said they were only going to give away 700 no more God bless you to get the ticket well her son came out here early this morning <laughs> and stood in line this morning okay that's cool we're definitely going to be uh, here to celebrate Mr. Hawkins you don't want to run around with the camera okay. I'm trying to, you know, get the folks in. We all love Bishop Hawkins, and people are showing mad love. Give me 10. Give me 10 in. People are showing mad love. They stood in line since 9 o'clock last night just to come to this event. We love you, Bishop Hawkins, and the Hawkins. I just want to say that he was more than a gospel artist, that he was the person that issued in liberation and made a place for all of us to sit at the table as, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I, he is more than an icon to me. He's a legend in this world. I will forever thank, be thankful that he made a place at the table for everyone. I'll go get the car. Oh, oh. Please hold up to this group. Hold up to this group. Hold up to this group. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Thank you for doing the gospel concert again. Oh, baby. Uh, 
one of my, I, th I think, most memorable moments was uh, I did a concert uh, several years ago and had Joe Smith, Carl Wheeler, uh, Kevin Stansel, and we were uh, in the midst of the concert at Allen Temple, and Joe said, I don't believe it, and uh, Walter Hawker was in the audience, he said, my uncle normally don't come out to a whole lot of things, so he must really like you. So I, awesome. I just appreciate uh, Bishop well, Hawkins awesome. and his support over the years, always having a kind word, and you know, definitely love his music, and actually uh, was able to record one of his uh, songs on my Every Breath project, uh, I Need You, uh, that was uh, actually written for Tremaine Hawkins by, by Bishop, uh, but definitely, definitely be missed, you know, much in the Bay Area and worldwide.